Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is my YouTube channel. If you're returning, so lovely to see you again. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying some new in uh, food products that I picked up from Tesco. So none of these are like specifically Tesco branded. Um, they're all like actual brands instead of like private label. So yeah, you could probably get these from other supermarkets too, but I've got five different items to try, so not too, too many. They're mainly snacks, but I do have a cereal and I do have something hot as well. So yeah, if this sounds like the kind of thing that would interest you, please keep watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you don't already subscribe to me, because it will really help support the growth of my channel. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm kicking off with breakfast. So it's not a 24 hour with me, I'm gonna sit and eat everything now, but it feels like it makes sense to kick off with the cereal. So I'm really excited to try the limited edition Coco Pops hazelnut choc flavor. I love hazelnut chocolate, like I am a sucker for uh, Nutella and anything to that effect. So I'm very excited to give these a try and see if that hazelnut flavour really does come through or if they just taste like Cocoa Pops. I haven't had Cocoa Pops in ages and I love Cocoa Pops. I just don't really eat cereal anymore. Um, so yeah, let's see if we've got... It's 30% less sugar, no artificial colours or flavours and a source of fibre. So yeah, they're just hazelnut chocolate flavour Cocoa Pops. Don't think there's anything more to say. These cost £3 and this is a 480 gram um, box. So I'm just going to... Get them in a bowl, I'll try them on their own, and then I'll give them a try with um, some milk. They just smell like normal Cocoa Pops, to be fair. So. <gasps> oh! <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah. That hazelnut comes through. I can really taste that. Like that is so good. Mmm. Right, I'm excited to get some milk in that because obviously a bit dry, but just got some skimmed milk down here. Oh, I think Donnie wants some. Hey, <laughs> get your face out of my cocoa pot, please. Mm. They're really good, like really good. I was skeptical of whether you'd actually get that hazelnut flavour, but honestly you do. I mean the milk definitely dilutes it slightly, which is to be expected. If you add liquid to anything, it's gonna dilute the flavour. So it was a lot stronger when they were on their own, but it still comes through and yeah, absolutely delicious. I'm gonna finish this bowl and then we're gonna drink the milk at the end to see what that tastes like. But yeah, in terms of the flavour, like, I'll give that a four and a half out of five. That's a really good cereal, like absolutely delicious. Hmm, right, let's go for the, I mean, there's only a little bit of chocolate milk left in there, but let's have a look. Oh my God, mmm. That chocolate milk at the end brings that to a five out of five, like, oh. That was so hazelnutty and delicious. It like literally, oh. I wish that Cocoa Pops would bring out a like fresh chocolate milk that has that exact flavor because that is sensational. Mm. Next, we're gonna move on to a crisp product and that is these Sensations Naan Chips in Lime Pickle flavor. Um, I love lime pickle, like I'll just have it as a snack, like I, I have jars of lime pickle always in my fridge and I'll like have it on poppadoms and if I'm getting like an Indian takeaway or a curry, like I need to have lime pickle, like it is an essential part of my life. So when I saw the walkers, and these have been out for a few months now, um, but I hadn't seen them in the shop before. So yeah, when I saw that walkers had bought out sensation naan chips in lime pickle, I was like, I have to have those. So these cost £1.50 with a club card. So yeah, not bad value for something new. Oh, and explore the exciting world of extraordinary flavors with delicious dips. Oh, right, so it gives you a serving suggestion to have them with a mint and coriander raita. Um, 
Yeah, it just has lime pickle flavor, baked naan chips. Our quality light and crunchy, no artificial colors, no added MSG. Ooh, they smell strong. You can, you can smell the lime straight away. So they're quite thick. As you can see. And yeah, they've got like kind of a Cheeto, what's it, kind of dusting on them. So that's obviously where all the flavor's gonna come from. Mmm. They're really nice, like, they're spicy. Like, they have chili, like, lime pickle is spicy and they have chilies on the pack, so. Yeah, I think they're great. They're nice and crunchy, like really, really crunchy. They really pack like a massive, massive flavor punch. You can really get the lime, you can get the spiciness. Um, yeah, I don't really know what more to say. They're just really tasty. Like, if you like strong flavors, strong, spicy, punchy flavors, like this is like perfect for you. And if, yeah, if you like things a bit spicier as well, these are great. I actually think they'd go really well with the mint and coriander rate that they've um, suggested on pack. But yeah, I absolutely love them. I'm gonna give them a 4.75 out of five. So next up, I've got something savory again, and this is um, the Ginsters Bake Meatball Marinara, which I thought sounded really tasty, and I was intrigued to give it a try. Uh, I don't think I've really seen like meatball marinara in anything except a Subway, so I think this should be really good. Um, so this costs £1.30. And it's Italian style British pork and beef meatballs. Oh, I like the mix there. With pockets of creamy melted mozzarella in a rich tomato sauce with onion, red pepper, and a slow roasted tomato wrapped in light puff pastry. Sorry, not a slow roast tomato, just slow roast tomato. Um, so you can have this hot or cold. I've, because I'm at home, I've heated it in the oven. It just took 15, it says 15 to 20 minutes. My oven's really cooks things quickly so I put it in for 15 um, and here it is so as you can see it's gone like a nice light golden brown I think it's going to be baking so I'm quite scared but yeah here's what she's looking like I might actually put it back in the pack to eat it so I can hold it all right there we go popped it back in the pack so I can hold it and let's see what it says it feels quite nicely filled so let's have a look Baking. It's actually really nice. <laughs> it just tastes like it tastes like what you would expect meatball marinara to taste like. So just to show you the inside, it's actually really well filled. Um, I feel like I've had a Ginsters on my channel before years ago, and it wasn't very well filled at all, and everything like sunk to the end. But actually, I've had loads of my bites. I'm about half, just over, just under halfway through. I've had sauce in every bite, I've had like actual chunky filling in every bite, I've had like quite a decent amount of the actual meatballs itself. So yeah, I think it's actually really good. I wouldn't say in general that meatball marinara is my favorite, favorite um, like sandwich filling. Like I never get it at Subway, I used to when I was younger, but not anymore. But um, so I wouldn't say flavor wise, it's like necessarily my exact taste, but I do think it tastes good. So. Yeah, I've not really got anything bad to say about it. It's flavorful. I think the key thing is that it's nice and filled, like it's really, really well filled. Um, and the like pastry is like nice and flaky and crispy. I do think it's falling apart a little bit, like it's very crumbly and it might just be where I'm <laughs> eating it straight out of the oven so it's baking hot. But yeah, I think that's really good. I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five. Now we're moving on to something sweet, and I spotted that Jammy Dodgers have bought out blueberry flavour. Um, I think these have been out for a few months as well, but I just thought they sounded great, and they, I don't know, just the blue is, re I'm really drawn to this blue for some reason. Um, so yeah, blueberry Jammy Dodgers, no nasty stuff, we're jammy enough. <laughs> God, I'm so easily pleased <laughs> when it comes to jokes. Um, so it's just a shortcake biscuits. So they're shortcake biscuits with mixed berry flavor apple jam. Interesting. So they're blueberry, but it's mixed berry flavor apple jam. 
Mm, very interesting. So these are actually very nice and cheap with the club card. They were 60 pence. So um, yeah, I'm pleased with that. If you're like in um, a Tesco trying to find them, honestly, I was down the biscuit aisle and I just saw one random one sitting there and I was like, oh, and I couldn't see where they were for the life of me. They had like, um, like Fox's jammy, Fox's versions of jammy dodges there and I couldn't see them, but then they had a load of other biscuits on the next aisle. So like, yeah, biscuits are in multiple places <laughs> if you're wondering in Tesco. So here they are. So the classic, what you would expect, jammy dodger biscuit with the heart in the middle, but this time it is blue instead of red. Mm, I like that. Yeah, I really like those. Like, when I first started biting it, I was like, is there a clear distinction between that and the original? But the more into it I got, there really is. Like, it's a really nice, like, sharp, sweet. Not sharp, actually. I don't know why I said that. Um, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but, like, the, the blueberry jam flavor really does come through even though it's apple. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I like it. I like the biscuit, it's nice and crumbly. The jam really comes through the sweetness of that. And, and I think the flavor is distinctively different to the original. So big fan, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Like probably isn't my like favorite, favorite biscuit in the world, but jammy dodgers never were, but it's it's good and deserves a high rating. The final thing I have to try today is probably what I'm most excited to try, and that is the new Fiber One donut. Uh, the yeah, the 90 calorie donut. So they have these in two flavors. This is the chocolate one. They also have strawberries and cream, but I decided to pick up the chocolate one because just who would choose strawberry over chocolate? Um, yeah, let's give them a try. I feel like these have been all over the internet, like everyone's going mad for them. So I'm excited that I'm finally getting to give them a go. As with all the other Fiber One products, unless they're on offer, they are quite expensive. So uh, this was £2.50 and you get four in there. So um, it's over 50p for one of the donuts. Uh, yeah, they're 90 calories each. Um, it's a high in fiber donut with chocolate flavor coating. Have what you crave. Craving for a sweet treat, but you watch what you eat. 5190 calorie donuts. Indulge your cravings with your favorite ring donuts without the guilt. Unbelievably delicious and high in fiber. Each donut is covered with a smooth icing and generously topped with crunchy sprinkles. Whoa. Have, have what you crave. Oh my God, I couldn't read that properly. I love how they've specified that these are enlarged to show details. <laughs> Just in case anyone gets it, gets cross that these aren't the actual size. Oh God, they really are tiny. <laughs> they are so tiny. I, well, when I get one out, I'll show you the actual comparison. But yeah, they're individually wrapped, so you can easily like take them out and about with you if you want a little, keep a little snack in your bag or you want to take some snacks to work. So that is good. Oh, they smell really chocolatey. So here it is. It's very well coated in chocolate. Like I feel like there's a good thick layer. It smells like a donut, to be fair. Here's the comparison. So like, yeah, I guess it's quite good that they did They did specify that it's enlarged to show detail because you could have some angry consumers. You could be having some complaints um, if you didn't specify. So All right, chocolate is starting to melt in my hand. So I'm just gonna get into this. That is good. I love those. They taste like, you know when you go in the supermarket and you get the like mini donuts that aren't quite in the bakery, they're more with the sort of long life bakery stuff. It tastes like the donuts that you get from there. They, it has a distinctive donut flavor. The chocolate coating on the outside is really thick. Um, so really chocolatey. And it's just got that perfect like kind of chewy but light donut texture. Like I think they have absolutely smashed the flavor in those, smashed the texture and I love it. Like like with any other Fiber One product, like I, yeah, I think these will be around for a long time and people are really gonna catch on to these. Um, I, I would actually wanna try the strawberry and cream one just to see how it compares because this is bloody delicious. That gets a 
five out of five from me. So that is the end of this video. Yeah, like I said, kind of short and sweet. Just had the five items to try. But actually, I think this was a really successful, like, new in haul. I would recommend every single product that I tried today. Um, I would say my favourites were definitely the five one donuts and the cocoa pops. Like, both were delicious. But I loved, I loved the naan. Um, the sensation naan. Uh, what were they called? Naan chips. So... Yeah, I, I enjoyed it all. The ones that I would probably buy again would be the definitely the five one donuts. If I ate cereal, I would I would buy those cocoa pops on the regular. Actually, my best friend loves cocoa pops, so I might just give this to her. Um, and yeah, I'd probably buy those cessation naan chips again if I had like people over. Um, but yeah, that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you don't subscribe to my channel, go and hit that subscribe button because it will really support the growth of my channel. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.